Okay, I'm at Zoo Road, and that's the driveway. There's a gate here. I'm not going to open the gate. This is the 20 acre piece. So, this is the entrance. There's a dip over there. And this is the six acre piece we're looking at. And then off to our right over there is the entrance to the 12 acre piece. This is what um, it's open and flat. I just heard a rooster crow. Um, there's quite a valley down here, but uh, it doesn't look wet. This looks like a dip. Um, I have my assistants with me here. They're tying me up because I've got them on a leash. Come on, guys. There's some junk laying around. Um, nice woods. I see over there is a wind generator. All right, I can't help. I gotta go see what this looks like. There's a storage container. It's like a truck um, container on the property. And that's like a fuel tank. So that's the driveway that leads down into an aha. There's the shed that the guy's using as a house. I'm not going to walk over there because I didn't like set up a showing. I don't know if he's here or not. I'm going to zoom in on it. Yes, it's snowing. Looks like he's got a, a, a propane tank. It's very quiet out here, except for the dogs coughing. <laughs> I'll go. You could probably, actually it might work really nicely for what you're talking about using it for. Including farmland. There's a lot of farmland around here. Drove by on the way in here, an absolutely beautiful um, farmhouse and barn and big field of, I don't know what, probably, they probably rotate crops on it. Probably wheat or hay or who knows. Hard to know. Oh, back in this corner over here is a, looks like some roofing, metal roofing. broken glass. Two track that leads back. I don't know how far back it goes. I think it goes pretty considerably far back. There's another trail here that leads back. Into more of the property. There's a distant neighbor over there. And I see a distant neighbor over there. Zoo Road.